So, get this, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope just keeps blowing minds. A few weeks back, it spotted the oldest galaxy ever. Now, it's found a crazy fast supermassive black hole zooming away from its galaxy at 4 million miles per hour. This thing is making scientists scratch their heads, wondering what it all means for how we understand the universe. The Webb Telescope was sent out to check out the universe's first stars and galaxies. It's already taken some awesome pics of dying stars and galaxies from way back when, like a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This latest find is messing with what we thought we knew about black holes. Usually, they suck everything in, even light. But this one's doing the opposite. Instead of gobbling stuff up, it's making new stars along this huge 200,000 light-year-long trail. Weird, right? A team led by Professor Bienda reported their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. And get this, the Hubble Space Telescope confirmed it. Apparently, the black hole makes new stars when it hits gas and cools it down. But wait, there's more. NASA also announced some cool stuff about a galaxy merger called ARP-220, which the Webb Telescope also caught. This thing is super bright in infrared, so Webb could get a good look. It's like two spiral galaxies smashed together in a spot in the Serpent constellation, like 250 million light years away. About 700 million years ago, these galaxies crashed and made a ton of new stars. It created a dense area only 5,000 light years across, with about 200 big star clusters. This little area has as much gas as our whole Milky Way galaxy. Before, Radio telescopes found around 100 supernova leftovers in a space smaller than 500 light years. The Hubble Space Telescope showed that the original galaxies were 1,200 light years apart, and each had a spinning ring making bright infrared light. The James Webb pics now show this awesome galaxy smash up with tails of stuff pulling between them. The red, orange, and brown bits? That's just scattered space goo. And here's another head scratcher. Researchers found some super-old galaxies at the edge of the universe. At first, some didn't think they were real, but the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed they totally are. Thanks to this crazy telescope, we can now see the oldest galaxies ever. The light from these galaxies has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years to get here. The light data confirmed these galaxies are at the edge of our view, even farther away than Hubble could see. Being able to measure extreme red shifts is what makes James Webb special. All this is a big deal because it validates one of James Webb missions which to study the early universe. This discovery is challenging some of the current scientific cosmology models such as Big Bang Theory, which the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself. According to theoretical physicist Michioku, the discovery of ancient galaxies has called into question everything we knew about the beginning of the universe. Previously, these galaxies were thought to be less developed than the Milky Way. But the new findings suggest that we may be missing crucial information. The fact that the telescope has identified six galaxies that existed half a billion years after the Big Bang and are up to ten times larger than the Milky Way raises the question of whether our current theories about the creation of the universe are correct. So it is strange to find such large, young, primordial galaxies. This discovery may require us to revise and rewrite the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Scientists might have to rethink some things. Despite this, NASA recently tweeted about a galaxy cluster that lies just 650 million years after the Big Bang, adding another intriguing piece to the puzzle. Astronomers have analyzed the data and concluded that this fledgling cluster is expected to grow in size and become something similar to the colossal coma A1656 cluster. The place where all this is taking place is unique and special, as it is situated in an area of accelerating galactic evolution. Researchers can now measure the velocities of these seven galaxies, which gives them the confidence to confirm that they are bounded together in a protocluster. To put this in perspective, NASA scientists compared these distant galaxies to small drops of water in different rivers that will eventually join together to form a large, powerful river. Clearly, what we previously believed about the Big Bang is not adding up as expected. However, more data from the Webb Telescope may reveal evidence that could confirm or disprove the theory. Who knows, maybe the Big Bang did happen, but what caused it is a different story. Anyway, we'll have to wait for more discoveries. Scientists are scratching their heads over why this black hole is acting so different.
but a team led by Professor Bienda just put out their report in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope saw the same thing, backing up the idea that the black hole sparks new stars when it bumps into gas and cools it down. Basically, we're seeing the path it leaves behind. But wait, there's more. NASA also dropped some cool news about a galactic smash-up called ARP-220, which the James Webb Space Telescope caught. This crazy collision is shining bright among other galaxies. When two spiral galaxies merge like this, it gets super bright in infrared, which is perfect for the James Webb Space Telescope to see. It's called an ultra-bright infrared galaxy, like a trillion suns shining at once. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is only like 10 billion suns. ARP-220 is way out there, about 250 million light-years away in the Serpent constellation. It's the brightest of the three closest galaxy pileups to us and has the number 220 in a list of weird galaxies. About 700 million years ago, two spiral galaxies crashed into each other, causing a huge burst of star making. This made a packed area only about 5,000 light years across with around 200 big groups of stars. It's got as much gas in that little spot as our whole Milky Way. Old radio telescopes spotted about 100 exploded stars in less than 500 light years. Then, Hubble zoomed in and showed that the original galaxies are about 1,200 light years apart. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope's views show this amazing galaxy merger. You can even see faint tails stretching out from the edges, showing how the two galaxies are pulling on each other. The red, orange, and yellow colors are scattered bits of stuff in ARP-220. Another mind-bender. Researchers found really old galaxies way out at the edge of the universe, and at first, they weren't sure if they were real. Some thought they might be closer galaxies faking it. So, they shared the info with other scientists. Thankfully, the James Webb Space Telescope said, Yup, they're ancient. Because of this awesome telescope, we can now see the oldest galaxies ever. Astronomers think the light from these galaxies has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years. This helps us see what the universe was like way back when. These galaxies popped up when the universe was young, which tells us how fast the first galaxies came to be. The data backs up that these galaxies are at the edge of what we can see, even farther than Hubble could peak. This discovery is key because it backs up one of the main jobs of the James Webb Space Telescope, studying the early universe with light that's been traveling for over 13.5 billion years. Being able to measure crazy shifts in light is what makes the James Webb Telescope special. There's a ton of excitement because this find is a big step in space exploration and getting a sense of how it all came to be. This find has really shaken things up and made NASA want to build even better telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope to check if what we think about the Big Bang is right. Data from the James Webb Telescope shows that some of the first galaxies have extreme light shifts which means we're seeing them as if they were around only 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. And they don't seem to have heavy stuff like carbon. This is odd because the universe is supposed to be 13.8 billion years old. It's making scientists rethink how the early universe worked. This is causing some worry because these new finds are making people question the current idea of rapid expansion after the Big Bang and the Big Bang theory itself, which has some holes like not clicking with the laws of physics and not saying what made the Big Bang happen. Plus, the James Webb Space Telescope is finding galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang, which questions everything. According to physicist Michio Kaku, finding these old galaxies has made us question everything we thought we knew about the start of the universe. It was thought that these galaxies wouldn't have been as formed as the Milky Way. But the new data says we're missing something important. The telescope found six galaxies that were around half a billion years after the Big Bang and are up to ten times bigger than the Milky Way, raising the question of whether we need to revise our theories about how the universe was formed. Kaku said it takes billions of years to form a galaxy similar to the Milky Way. So, it's odd to spot galaxies so large when they are so young. This may require us to change and rewrite the textbooks when it comes to the beginning of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope's findings have made people question what we knew about the Big Bang. Regardless of these finds, NASA recently posted about a galaxy cluster made 650 million years right after the Big Bang. Astronomers looked at the data and agreed that it is believed that this new cluster will grow in size and become something like the A1656 cluster. The area this is all happening is unique since it's happening in an area of increasing galactic evolution. 
Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers can get the confidence that they will be bounded together by measure the speed these seven galaxies are moving. A NASA scientist compared this idea to small drops of water that make a river. What we previously thought about with the Big Bang is not adding up. More data may show evidence to prove the theory or not. Who knows maybe the Big Bang happened, but a new story of what caused it. We will have to wait for more discoveries. What are your thoughts about this discovery? Let me know your thoughts.